You may be wondering what this thing I have in my hand is, and or you may be familiar with it. It's a uh, this is the optical head out of a DVD player, and what we're looking at is this clear part out here is the lens, and just do a brief tour. Here are two electromagnets, one, two, and as you can see, there's a permanent magnet there. So there's a permanent magnet, here's a permanent magnet, and two electromagnets, and let's see if we can get it. Turned. This and this act as a spring, and you can see that it will go up and down like this, like that. And what you can also see is it will go left and right. So this will allow it to go back and forth across many tracks, and the up and down motion allows it to focus the laser for reading and writing onto the disc. So between these two motions, the, this is the fine movement, so this will go from track to track. Now if you want to do big mo movements, they have, a, they have a linear motor and a stepping motor to move the whole head assembly, but that's very crude. If you just need to move a few tracks, and as you know on a DVD the tracks are very tiny, if you just want to move a few tracks, you can go this way and this way with it. Okay, and then again focusing is up and down. So. What am I doing today? I want to see if I can actuate this. There's some contacts back here. I want to see if I can actuate this and make it go back and forth. I believe, if I remember correctly, that typically these are actuated. There's like an AC, a high frequency AC, and they vary it between these two magnets to cause it to do different things, to move left and right, up and down. But we'll see if we can do it with just an ordinary power supply. Now let's see what we can do. I believe that there's two contacts back here, one, two, and I believe they connect over here, but I can't get them to do much. So I'm going to touch directly onto these copper, well, they act as springs and carriers and see what happens. Ah, you see it? So this is the up and down motion. And I'm using an almost dead AA battery to, to power this, so it doesn't take very much. Okay, let's try the other side. Huh. There we go. So this will be the left and right motion on it. Again, I believe they use an AC current and they vary it in order to carefully control the, the lens up here but this is very crude just using a straight DC source. Um, there's going up, there's going down, so if I switch the okay and that's it. That's how your uh, Tracking the fine tracking on your DVD player uh, works with a laser and the and the lens and all that. Okay, well I hope you found it interesting in your electronic experiments.